Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are working on my creative daily journal for September 7th to the 13th, I believe. You have to bear with me, okay? Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a new desk. I moved my craft room from my bedroom to a spare room in the basement that was filled with junk. Um, if you want to see any of that, I did post shorts of my process of turning this into my craft room. It's not done yet. I'm sitting on a dining chair because my chair didn't come yet. It's not decorated. It's not even um, organized very well. So you have to bear with me with the lighting and everything. I'm working with just the overhead light to see how it works. I may have to bring out a different light. I'm not sure yet. I won't know until I go back to edit this footage because right now it looks okay on my computer, but you never know. Anyway, so let's get started. And also I will let you know when the reveal of the room. I have a lot left yet, a lot of stuff left to do yet. So I'm not ready to reveal it, but I will do a tour of my new craft room when I'm done. And yeah, anyway, let's start. So we left off, we finished the sixth. So now we're on the seventh. And I also, I'm not used to this yet. I left my notes for my journaling upstairs. So that should be fun. All right, let's get started. Um, I also, this is a huge desk compared to my old desk. So this is going to take getting used to also. It is uh, 24 by 48. I believe and my old desk was 30 inches but I wanted it this big um, because I wanted to be able to keep my laptop on the desk and it is it's like it's right right there <laughs> it's right next to me um, instead of where I used to have it and also I wanted to be able to keep my most commonly used tools on the desk so you'll see all that, like I said, when I do the reveal of the final finished room. But it's been a long four days. I've been working on this for four days. I thought it would take months. I'm not gonna lie. I thought for sure that cleaning this out and getting it done would take months, but then, I mean, I should really know myself, right? I feel very dumb that I don't know myself well enough to know that um, I was going to just bust my butt and get it done. I should have known better, huh? Okay, that's good. Then I have plenty of room down here at the bottom for journaling. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, if I go off camera, I apologize. It's just, like I said, going to be difficult to get used to this new setup, the new desk. I also have to figure out a better way to mount my camera. Right now, it's on the back of my desk, but that means my desk has to be about five inches from the wall and I wanted it up against the wall. So, should be interesting to see how this goes. I'm not sure. Well, let's use this at the bottom here. What do we think? I'm just going to tear both sides, add it to the bottom. also super hot down here. I have a fan on. I hope you can't hear the fan. The fan to me sounds very low. So hopefully you really can't hear it. Once again, we'll find out in editing, won't we? There we go. Um, my boyfriend wants to, what am I looking for? I don't know. My boyfriend wants to mount my camera on the wall. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I can journal here. And is there any, let's look. Let's pull out my ephemera. 
and see if there's any ephemera in here that I can use on some of these pages. So I did post the other day that um, the Echo Park Mystery Box, I think t today or tomorrow is the last day of the sale. I got one. Did you guys? I think today's the last day. When this when this airs, to, it'll be the last. I believe the last day. So yeah, did you guys order one? I can't resist ordering one. I have to order one, and I don't know why. I I can't not order one. All right. I think we'll use these little pieces here. So I spent all day, I spent two days cleaning this up, okay, so I spent two days cleaning out the room, and then I spent, I took a day, and I picked out a new um, desktop. If you don't know this, Lowe's sells pre-made tops super cheap. This big top was $27, $28. And then my boyfriend stained it, attached it to a pre-existing um, frame. Let me see if I can uh, fix the camera, hold on. Okay, that's better. I was able to pop the camera back a little further. So here, I'll journal here. So yeah, my boyfriend just, we had an existing, if you saw any of my shorts or my TikTok videos, you'll see that I had a desk I was planning on throwing out. And it was my son's desk from when he was in school. <laughs> and um, we never got around to throwing it out. And then um, we decided we were going to throw it out and I was going to use another desk that was in the room but when I went to go move the other desk it completely collapsed fell apart so we decided to just use this desk and then um, I'm gonna staple this on and then just bought a new top and like I said the top so you can get tops cheap at Lowe's go my my boyfriend he's so lovely I saw this strawberry shortcake shirt on TikTok and I <laughs> messaged him I'm like I thought you loved me because you didn't give me the strawberry shortcake shirt and then he came home that night with the strawberry shortcake shirt and the Care Bears one that says careful I'm grumpy I was kind of bitter about that but you know whatever So yes, I'm hard at work remaking, redoing this room, and then um, I'm going to decorate the walls. I have it all planned out and do some reorganization. My boyfriend made a new end table for in my bedroom when I was crafting up there. And he doesn't like it now that it's not a craft area. It's too high. It's too bulky for the area. So he's going to make a new end table. And I'm going to bring that one down. And I'm going to put my sewing machine on it. Wait, do I have nothing on this day? That's weird to me. What day are we on? This is the 7th. Did I accidentally skip a day? 8th, 9th, 10th. This would be the 11th. Do I have nothing on the 11th? I might have accidentally skipped. Let me check. So yeah, I'm going to bring that down and have my sewing machine on it and stuff. What day was the 11th? Anybody? 9th, 10th, Monday. I do have, so I accidentally skipped those days. So this is the 11th. And then this is the 12th. And this is the 13th. And this is today. Okay. It happens. So this is what my room looked, this room looked like before. Look at that. It was a mess. It was a mess. I got rid of so much stuff. Most of it garbage. I mean, 90% of it was just garbage. 
It was so bad. And then here for my hard work, because I worked hard, I made myself a snacky plate at night. Do you make snacky plates? Do you know what a snacky plate is? It's literally a plate with snacks, and I don't know why I call it a snacky plate, but it's a snacky plate. And I had honeydew, cantaloupe, Famous Dave's Super Hot Pickles, and our favorite thing, my boyfriend, it's our favorite thing, it is the fry cheese, the Mexican. We've had the other stuff, why can't I think of it? I think it starts with an H, it's in my head, I can't, I, it's not gonna come out. Um, but we prefer the Mexican fried cheese. It's so good if you've never had it. Our Walmart has a huge, huge section of those items. So we're able to get a lot of it at Walmart. I mean, huge section, huge section. Um, it's the demographic I live in. If you don't live in that demographic, you may not have that kind of selection. Okay, we're gonna um, Okay. Just have to add some color, some stuff here. I can't have just plain pages. I don't know why I'm using this and not glue. I'm like running out of double stick tape, so I should really be using glue for some of this stuff, but nope, nope, nope. Anyway, yes, a snacky plate, and I deserved it. And yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, I ordered myself a Stromboli. I was like, I deserve, I deserve to have Stromboli. Yes, I am on a diet. I mean, not I'm not really on a diet, but I had to cut out, here we go. I had to cut out um, sugar and carbs, as you guys know. And so I've been very good and Stromboli is a lot of carbs. But I made about, uh, let's say, 40 trips down into the basement yesterday. I made 40 trips down into the basement, at least. I didn't count. And my Fitbit said I only made five, <laughs> which made me laugh because I'm like, five is like two items. And I carried down so much stuff, including a bookshelf, all my carts everything. So, um, it was a lot. And then I had to afterwards carry out the desk for garbage. Cause yesterday was garbage day and that desk was heavy. That desk was so heavy. So I had to carry that desk out for garbage, take out all the rest of the garbage. And then I was a good girl and I even went for a walk around the neighborhood, even though my boyfriend and my son were both like, um, mom, you do not. My son was like, mom, you did so much today. You do not have to work out. And I'm like, but I'll feel guilty if I don't work out because the day before I just completely forgot to work out. Just forgot. It was like nine o'clock and I was like, oh, I never worked out today. Yep, just completely forgot. So, yeah, I made myself go for a walk, even though I was dead tired, dead tired, I still did it. And here we go. Here was the room completely clean. Look at that. Can you believe that? Where's the before picture? Here, look at that. Look at that difference. This was right after I had brought my bookshelf down. It's crazy. And I'm so shocked that I got the bulk of it done so fast. When I made, I made a video, a TikTok, and I mentioned in the TikTok, I thought it was gonna take me months, but it didn't. And I'm really shocked about that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super shocked. 
I thought for sure it would take me forever. But it didn't, thankfully. Okay. And then I guess I can, oh, I have a lot to say. Was this yesterday? Because I have a lot to say about yesterday. Some freaking crap happened on my walk. So I was on my walk and my neighborhood's a very safe neighborhood. I, I mean, I live, yes, this was yesterday. I live in a very safe neighborhood, but um, when I was walking yesterday, some guy on a dirt bike came flying past me and I was at a stop sign. I was going towards a stop sign going, I was walking this way, there was a stop sign right here, and he was coming this way. And I was right up against the curb. There's no sidewalks in my neighborhood, so I was right up against the curb, and he came flying through, didn't stop at the stop sign, and flew around me, and he was so close, I could have kicked him over. I could have put my foot out and knocked him over. That's how close he was. And I just went, I just, what kept walking I'm like whatever I kept walking I got out of the way it was fine and then by the time I get two houses down to the road right before my house he passes me again he went on another loop and he passes me again and when he passed me again he made a face at me like he leered like he made this weird leering face at me and I just whipped him the finger and walked on. I'm like, whatever. Like, he's like a 20 year old kid. He's like in his twenties. I, I couldn't tell. He looked older, but the neighbors then saw him. And I went out and I asked the neighbors cause they saw him and they were pissed because he was going that fast. He was going that fast through my neighborhood. He was flying through my neighborhood and he went through three times. Okay. And then we could hear him because we live behind a highway and we could hear him on his dirt bike up and down the highway, which by the way, the police station is right on the highway. Nobody like didn't get pulled over anything on a dirt bike with no license plates, no lights going up and down a major roadway. And then he came back a fourth time and I heard my neighbor yell, slow the F down to him. Because when we stopped to ask the neighbors, my dad was pissed about what happened. And when we stopped and asked the neighbors if they knew who it was, they were like, no, but he's driving way too fast. And I told them what happened. They were so freaking mad. They were like, this is ridiculous. He's going too fast. He's going to hit somebody. And I'm like, yeah, he almost hit me. And then he came down a fourth time. And I heard the neighbor yell, slow the F down. So I went and then... I, my son had ordered food, so I went to go grab his food off the porch, and I heard the neighbor yell something to me. So I went out then, and I went over to the neighbor's house, and I was like, "What did you?" And he's like, "Yeah, here the person is lives in the new a uh, uh, house got sold or rented out in the cul-de-sac right next to us, and they live there. So that's why he came back the fourth time." I was like, well, and then the neighbor said, if we see it again, we're calling the cops. I was like, good, because, he, and then, because I even said to, I said to the guy, I'm like, was it a dirt bike? I thought it was a dirt bike, but I'm not sure. I don't know my bikes. And he's like, yeah, it was a dirt bike. He goes, that's why he came back when it was dark, because he has no lights and no license plate. I was like, but we have, we have a lot of little kids in our neighborhood, especially down farther, not so much on my section of the road, but down farther, there's a lot of little kids and they're always playing out in the street. And this guy, a lot of dogs, almost every house in our neighborhood either has dogs or there's so many stray cats and he just flew through like a freaking maniac. I was so angry and my dad was pissed and I wouldn't let my dad go back out and he got mad at me and I said, but you'll throw your cane at him and I don't have money to bail you out for assault. I'm like, I, you can't, <laughs> you're not allowed. Okay. So that was my day yesterday. So all of this journaling spot down here is needed because I have a lot to say. Not this one. I'm in the wrong spot. This one. Oh, and while we're at it, let's just tape this down so I don't lose it. This is for, this is today, but we'll tape it down anyway, because I am down 20 pounds since I bought a scale. 
since I bought a scale, I'm down 32 pounds since I started, since I cut carbs, cut sugar, and started working out. I work out, though, like 30, 40 to 50 minutes a day. It's hard work. But yes, I am down, since I bought the scale, 20 pounds. Since um, I last went to the doctor in June, 32 pounds, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. This was my first video in my new setup. I hope you guys have a little bit of patience with me while I figure everything out. I think I might need another light. What light? I don't know, but I think I'm going to need another light. Yeah, I think I'm going to need another light. It looks maybe a little dark and it might just be the desk. So we'll see. I might just pull out my, I still have my clip light, my little ring light. We'll see if that helps for the next video. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. Um, let me know down below if you can hear me, if this is too dark. Please let me know so I can fix everything for when I start recording new vi more videos. I just wanted to get one done, see how this worked for me, and go from there. So, yeah, comment down below and let me know. Please like, subscribe. I'm pushing. Um... Just to let you know, all you guys who subscribe to me, I went from 250, 250 subscribers to 380 in four days from that zine video. You guys loved the zine video. I got so many subscribers on that. Don't worry, I'm going to be bringing more of those kind of videos, not exactly zines, but ones that you might not have ever seen that might interest you. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for subscribing. Keep going. I'm, I'm trying to push towards 500. I'm almost at 400. I'm at, I checked this morning. I'm at 393. So if you see me and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. It really helps me out. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.